Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on installing and running OpenFoam and Paraview. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install and run OpenFoam, Paraview and how to solve a lead driven cavity case. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 10.04, OpenFoam version 2.1.0, Paraview version 3.12.0 Note that OpenFoam does not run on a Windows platform. Also note OpenFoam version 2.1.0 is compatible with Ubuntu version 10.04 and above. To practice this tutorial, you should have some basic knowledge of computational fluid dynamics and Linux commands. Let me introduce you to OpenFoam. It is an open source computational fluid dynamics software. It contains a wide range of solvers for solving CFD problems of two dimensions as well as three dimensions. Now let me introduce you to Paraview. It is used for visualizing the results obtained in OpenFoam. OpenFoam and Paraview can be installed through Synaptic Package Manager. For Synaptic Package Manager, Go to System, Administration, Synaptic Package Manager. Type your password. In the search box, type OpenFoam. You can see OpenFoam as well as Paraview. Mark both of them for installation. And then click apply to install. The installation may take some time. Open foam and Paraview are installed. For more details on Synaptic Package Manager, please visit our website on this URL. Alternately, you can also install Open foam and Paraview from the OpenFoam website on this URL. Let me open up the browser. In the browser URL, type www.openfoam.com slash download. Press enter. Scroll down and go to Ubuntu Dev Pack. Let me zoom this. Go to Ubuntu Dev Pack installation. Click on it. Let me zoom out. Scroll down and go to installation. From the first point of installation, copy this command line and paste it in the terminal window. To open up a terminal window, press Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard or go to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. Open up a terminal window. Now copy this command line and paste it in the terminal window. Note that in place of lsb underscore release space dash cs replace it with the name of the Linux version that you are using. Switch back to the browser. Above installation you can see different Ubuntu versions and the code names. As I am using Linux 10.04, I will replace lsb underscore release dash cs with lucid. Open up the terminal window. I will replace this by lucid. L-U-C-I-D. 
press enter note that installation here is incomplete if you follow the steps in the sequence 1 2 3 and 4 you will be done through installing openfoam and paraview i have already installed openfoam and paraview through synaptic package manager some while ago now we need to configure the installed software to do this we need to edit the bash file open a new command terminal in the command terminal type gedit space tilde backslash dot bash rc press enter this opens up the bash file let me drag this to the capture area scroll down to the bottom of the bash file now switch back to the browser scroll down and go to user configuration look at the second point copy this line and paste it at the bottom of the bash file save it and close the bash file now we need to test the installed application to do this open a new command terminal let me drag this to the capture area in the command terminal type icofoam note that f here is capital space dash help press enter a usage message will appear you are now ready to start with open foam now let me show you how to set up a working directory create a project or a user directory by the name run open a new command terminal let me drag this to the capture area again in the command terminal type mkdir space dash p space dollar foam underscore run note that foam and run are capital press enter copy the tutorial directory from the open foam distribution to the run directory by typing in the terminal cp space dash r space dollar foam underscore tutorials space dollar foam underscore run note that foam tutorials and run are capital press enter both the directories are now created to view the directories go to places home folder open form folder you can see triple t210 click on it run and tutorials close this let me switch back to the slides if some error occurs during downloading open form and paraview from synaptic package manager or ubuntu debian pack from the website then you can download and install open form and paraview from the source pack installation for source pack installation go to the download page of the open form website now let me zoom this scroll down and go to source pack installation now click on this now scroll down and go to packs download these two tar files and save them i have already downloaded and saved these two tar files after this go to your home directory to do this go to places home folder let me drag this to the capture area 
in your home directory create a folder by the name of your choice let me put this as abc copy the two downloaded files in the folder that you have just created to do this copy these two tar files and paste it into the folder that you have just created unzip or untar these two files in the same folder extract here this may take a couple of minutes after this open a new command terminal in this go to your home folder type ls and press enter now go to the same folder in which you have untarred the tar files now type cd space abc and press enter now to view the contents inside abc type ls and press enter now go back to the download page of open form website for source pack installation and follow the steps given below for ubuntu distribution of open form and paraview we need to compile open form and paraview here it may take about 4 to 5 hours but this method always works let us see how to solve a problem in open form with an example let me take a lead driven cavity as an example it is a two dimensional problem where the upper plate moves with a certain velocity and the other three sides of the plate are fixed the type of solver i am using here is for an incompressible flow called as icofoam now open a new command terminal again i will drag this to the capture area type the path for the lead driven cavity problem note that this problem has already been set up in open form in the command terminal type run this will direct you to the run directory of open form press enter now type cd space tutorials press enter cd space incompressible press enter cd space icofoam note that f here is capital press enter cd space cavity press enter to view the content inside cavity type ls and press enter you can see three files zero constant and system now we need to mesh the geometry this can be done by the block mesh utility of open foam in the terminal window type block mesh note that m here is capital press enter meshing has been done now run the solver icofoam by typing in the terminal icofoam note that f here is capital press enter iterations running can be seen in the terminal window here we notice we have completed the solving point to visualize this results let us open the paraview window to open paraview type paraform in the terminal note that f here is capital press enter this opens up the paraview window now on the left hand side in the object inspector menu click apply to view the geometry you can see the lid driven cavity now 
to see the boundary conditions scroll down the object inspector menu and go to mesh parts uncheck internal mesh and click apply the geometry disappears now to view the moving and the fixed walls check both the boxes and click apply now uncheck the moving wall and click apply you can see the three fixed walls and the moving wall which just disappeared thus we are done with running open foam and para view in future we will come across more tutorials on solving and visualizing the open foam results let me switch back to the slides in this tutorial we learned how to install open foam and para view through synaptic package manager and the website and solved a lid driven cavity as an assignment install open foam and para view watch the video available at this url it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have a good bandwidth you can download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gives certificates to those who pass an online test for more details contact sptutemail@gmail.com spoken tutorial project is a part of the talk to a teacher project it is supported by the national mission on education through ict mhrd government of india more information on this mission is available at this url this is rahul joshi from iit bombay signing off thanks for joining